Hello dear friends welcome to this edition of King's Crocs today i have a very special talk on something which is very close to my heart that is on teaching the topic of this talk is teach to reach in other words how teaching the world can enable not just ophthalmologists but every medical professional out there to reach the pinnacle of success now even before we begin the discussion it's always vital to ask the most important question why or the purpose behind what we do see most of the instructors or teachers know what to teach but only some of them know how to teach and even amongst them a very very handful of them understand the real purpose behind their teaching or the motive or the purpose behind why we teach the world so answering the question why is of the ultimate importance So let's start with why. I've got three reasons. The first reason is to carve a niche for ourselves. See every single one of us no matter who you are we all strive for success. If you are listening to this talk it probably means that you want to achieve success. You want to create an identity for yourself or a carve a niche for yourself. This is my story. See my primary interest is in teaching. I just love to teach. It is my passion. I chose ophthalmology because there was not any other option out there left when I had to choose my career options. So I had to add a positive with a negative thing. My passion was to teach, but my profession became ophthalmology. So what I did, I had to teach ophthalmology. In other words, I had to integrate my passion with my profession to create a meaning for what I'm doing. right so what i did i just started a youtube channel and i uploaded very simple video lectures at the start which aimed at pg aspirants but slowly shifting the focus to the residents as well this is the page what i call as the king's crux now it has around 8000 subscribers at the time of this recording but have i achieved success in doing so no but am i on the path yes So whenever I upload these videos I link these uploaded videos to my Facebook page because Facebook is a, a you know it's a more popular page to access uh, and also Facebook enables me to share written content or notes as well so these some of the illustrated notes I share on Facebook page so that students can always go there download these images have them for future reference in essence what I've done is I've tried using social media to create a name for myself Now this like acts like a mini resume or like a virtual business card if you could consider that. So that's my first reason carving a niche for yourself. The second reason is of course the very obvious you become a better learner when you teach others. That is in order to teach we have to learn the material. If I want to teach effectively I have to learn more. We learn the concepts and when we teach students or when we teach the audience we understand the material even better it's like a vicious cycle so learn in order to teach and teach in order to learn more effectively this is what dr richard feynman described years ago he is a very famous theoretical physicist uh, he's a nobel laureate as well what he will do is he will ask his fellows to teach complex physics concepts to kindergarten kids so by explaining a very complex physics concept to a school kid the school kids learn better but more importantly those fellows will have to rack their brains to find a way to to uh, decipher or to decode those complexities and present to them in a very simple and understandable way so this is the process what we call as the feynman's technique so how do i employ feynman's technique in my teaching What do I do is I teach my nursing students or the mid-level ophthalmic personnel of my hospital at Aravind Eye Care System. So by teaching them they learn and I learn even more. Also explaining the concepts to them has enabled me to communicate and connect with my patients in a better way because when I explain a topic to my sister I tell it in the simplest possible way. The same approach or same things I use to my patient education as well. And this is what we call as win-win. 
The third and the most important reason is we create a better future for the next generation. See, even after my time, these videos which I created will stay there online as long as YouTube exists. So it's like an everlasting legacy I will leave for my students to learn and cherish. Now imagine I treat four patients a day. My role ends there. As a physician or a surgeon, I can, I can cure them. I can, I can bring them vision. But when I teach four other doctors, okay, or when I train these four doctors on the protocol or on the management aspects of the disease, they confidently treat four patients as well. But when they do that, I think I have treated all these patients. The art of medicine has sustained itself through the teachings of the physicians and surgeons. Therefore, if each one of us teach one, if not many, then we create a better world to live. The world needs more teachers to create positivity in the place. So I've given you three reasons for the three types of doctors out there. For the ambitious ones, you can create a strong online presence. For the academically oriented ones, you will master the topics more than anyone else. And finally, for the rarer species, but the more important ones, the altruistic or the service-minded people, you help the world. You can create a change in the world for better by teaching your ideas to the public. Now, let's see how we have discussed the, the why and we move on to the how or the process. We focus on some of the very practical techniques on the teaching methodologies here. Now, what I do is whenever I create my own lecture, I always frame my, my lecture on these three levels. So even whenever uh, I'm going to take a class, I will make sure that the students go on this three level journey of learning. In the first level, I teach the fundamental concepts and only the fundamental principles. So only when they have understood these concepts, I take them to the next level, that is the core or the body of the topic. And finally, I talk on level three, the advanced ideas, research questions and trivia. Now this layered approach or this three level of learning approach will help them to understand the topic better because the very first few minutes are very vital for the students to understand. They have a very short attention span. So hit them hard with the fundamental concepts. These are the must knows. So unless they know these concepts, there is no point in talking about research questions or advanced ideas to them. So fundamentals first. That is what my principle behind three levels of learning. This is a very interesting uh, idea proposed by Aristotle centuries back. Because to excel in our teaching, this three level is not just enough. We need to infuse the principles of public speaking into teaching. There are three elements of oratory just mentioned. Those are ethos, logos, and pathos. Ethos means credibility. Okay, what is, what is the proof or what is the substantiate evidence for that? Logos is the logical argument we put forward. Most often as medical teachers, we involve these two, that is the ethos and, path, and logos, but we most often fail to involve pathos. Pathos means the emotional quotient of the audience or what we call as the EQ level of the audience. By telling vividly engaging stories, we can engage the emotions of the audience, thereby we can send the information in a very memorable way. Of late, I have been experimenting with flipping the classrooms where I give the materials for the students prior to the class so that they learn the material beforehand and they come prepared for the class. This is in contrast with the traditional way of teaching where the lectures happen. It's, it's like a one-way teaching happen and after the classroom, the students will learn. But in a flipped classroom, we flip the entire thing. The students learn before the class and in the classroom, they just apply whatever they have learned. For example, what I do is I will provide a link to one of my online lectures on the optic changes in glaucoma. So in the class, I just ask them the questions because before the class, they have watched the video. They have understood the concepts and principles. This is what Bloom's taxonomy is all about. In a nutshell, we here flip the triangle. That is before the class, the students remember and understand. 
during the class they only apply and analyze but after the class they evaluate themselves and they create themselves they create ideas they innovate after the class this creation is what every teacher desire that my student should excel me in every possible way now we have answered two questions why and how let us ask the last question what should i teach to reach success it's easiest question to answer because simply put teach your passion see my passion was to teach so i incorporated my passion into my specialty but if doing surgeries is your passion then teach them if cooking is your passion then teach them this is the probably the shittiest quote i've ever heard because uh, those who can do those who can't teach no 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 i believe in this those who can those that can do but those that teach do better So let me show you some of the ophthalmologists who have invested their passions into teaching. Dr. Pradeep Mohanta uh, is one of them who is hugely famous for his online surgery tutorials. It's a must watch for every young eye surgeon out there. So is Dr. Uday Devgan, the world renowned cataract coach whose fake emulsification explanation videos are excellently produced. Dr. Ricardo uses Instagram to exhibit his beautifully shot artistic videos on retinal pathologies. This is Dr. Sen Gupta who runs the online portal of lectures for research methodology. Now all these people and many people are out there who have carved a niche for themselves. They have learned their art better and they're helping students to excel in their respective fields. Now we end it with the crux. We have seen so many threes and triangles now we have asked three questions why how and what to teach the most important being why we have discussed the three elements of oratory pathos ethos and logos pathos being the first we have understood the three levels of learning level 1 to 2 to 3 where level 1 is the more important one let them understand level 1 the concepts and only then take them to advanced and we flip the triangle that is the classroom has been flipped where the students learn at home they just apply in the class and after class they create new ideas but there is another one more triangle now this one is a big triangle and this triangle shows that by teaching by teaching the world we can step up we can climb up the ladder we can escalate like this we can escalate our careers to massive success so my dear friends let us teach to reach the world teach to reach success thank you so much for listening all the best stay tuned for more updates on excellence in teaching